What's up, Jefferson? I wanted to review what we did with the library movie and talk about what we should have learned from it, what we need to apply when we make our own movies at home. So let's take a look at it and chat as we go. Now with your opening shot, we see Jordan walk through the door. As soon as she's through the door, we cut to the inside. Notice we want to match up where the door is in shot one with shot two because it looks like it's a little bit maybe like a third of the way open they've matched it up really well right here what many of us do is we show her go through the door twice which isn't something we want to see walks through it once and then we see her walk through it again so make sure that when you cut from one room to another start shot two at the exact spot where shot one ended here we have her walking down the aisles. Notice the editing is really tight. When I say shots would be as short as possible, as soon as she leaves, we cut to the next shot. And we don't have her standing around in between pictures. She picks up the book, we cut to the next shot. She walks up to the bookcase, we cut to the next shot immediately. This is the longest image in the entire movie where she leaves through the book and then she walks out. As soon as she's gone, we cut to the next one. I would actually cut a little bit off. You notice how the camera jiggles at the very end? Can you see it moving? I'm wiggling the mouse back and forth. That's me pressing the pause button. So anytime the picture moves at the very end, you want to grab it and cut that out. So I'm going to wait until her foot just gets barely out of the image, and that's good. Also notice when we go from one picture to another, she's walking in the first shot, then she's walking in the second shot. If you start a movement, you want to carry it through to the next one. Look at how tightly this is edited. I like this. Check out what happens at the end of this shot. Mrs. Birch has the book. She's pulling it towards herself. I'm scanning forward with my mouse, so it's kind of slow motion. But here, in the very next frame, she's got that scanner gun out. Now that was a continuity issue, probably my fault as the director. You want to make sure that when the shot ends, you have people freeze while you set up the next shot so that when you move the camera, they can be in the exact same spot when they start the next one. Otherwise, you'll see things magically appear in her hands that wasn't there just a second ago. The only other thing I'd change about this, check it out. Woo! Chill out a bit there, honey. Now remember, acting is good, but don't overact quite so much because then you look kind of strange. Which she is, but so am I, so I can say that. One more thing. In the version we filmed later in the day with Steven, you notice anything that I've left in this shot? Yeah, it's the tripod. Remember how I took the camera off the tripod and I'm standing on a chair shooting down on him. Make sure you don't leave your stuff in the frame or it makes you look kind of sloppy <laughs> like I was here. But that's what I've got for the library movie. Really good stuff. I'm proud of your work on this. I'll see you later. Buh bye bye